Hey guys, DSP Fishing on another video. In this video, we're headed to Limestone Springs. We're actually on vacation right now. Uh, my dad's in the driving right there. My mom's in the passenger seat. And uh, we're going to be trying to catch some fish. Uh, this has some really nice sized stock trout. And some of the larger ones can be difficult to catch. The smaller ones are pretty easy. But the larger ones have been in there for so long that it can be kind of difficult. So stay tuned. Uh, I hope we catch some big fish. And uh, then we're going to do catch cook. Stay tuned. Alright guys, got a nice big rainbow. We're gonna try to net in here. Alright guys, we got a nice beautiful rainbow right there. Uh, this one's probably about 16 inches I'd say. Um, got him on a bead headed bead headed nymph. Uh, I don't have a proper hold here because we're keeping this guy. Um, beautiful fish. Uh, you can see right where I got him in the corner of the mouth. And uh, yeah, we're going to put this guy in the bucket, hopefully get a, a bigger one. Stay tuned. Dad's first fish. First for catch of the day. What is he? About 15 inches or so. Yeah, the last one I thought was 16, and that was actually 18. So this one's probably about the same, maybe a little bigger. Yep. So he's a keeper. We we'll take him home. Beautiful looking fish. Nice rainbow. Anything else to say, Dad? Nope. That's it. That was on. That was that your first fish on a that trout was. magnet. It was. That first was one. on a uh, white track trout magnet. Good job, Dad. I can give you a piss <laughs> Ugh. I get slime In the way. bucket he goes. Side too much. <laughs> Alright, mom's gonna catch a fish. Oh, there's another big one. You just kind of let it sit after you. It won't, uh, that's, that's a little guy. <laughs> Alright, she got one. <laughs> Finally! <laughs> Here's mom's fish. How long has it been since you caught fish, mom? At least 10 years. At least 10 years. Since I fished. Since you fished. <laughs> since you fished. How about catching a fish? That's a decent sized fish. Yeah, it's a good one. 
Do you at least want to touch it? No, thank you. I, I don't have any stuff. <laughs> 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 and most right. fish go to nice. the bucket. All right. Came right out. Come on, you're done. Oh, that's a big one. Alright guys, that is a limestone springs rainbow trout. Uh, probably a good at least 20 inches I'd say. And he's got those beautiful colors on him. I got him on a trout magnet. Scooped it right up. He's pretty feisty. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get this guy in the bucket and get another one. Stay tuned. Another nice one. This guy's a little bit smaller. He's probably a good 16 inches. <laughs> and uh, this pr might be the last fish of the day. Uh, maybe one more. If this is the last fish, we're going to switch to the catch and cook portion of this video where we cook these trout and make uh, probably at least one, if not two, recipes of uh, some beautiful trout fillets. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we made it back to the kitchen here. Uh, I have my trout right here. I'm only going to use one fillet for this recipe. I have some seafood mix, um, two packets of it. I have some onions. I have some marinara sauce, some fettuccine um, noodles, some various spices, and then some olive oil. That's all you really need for this recipe. It's an Italian style recipe. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, we're going to get started right now. All right, guys, you can see right there I have some extra virgin olive oil. And what I'm going to do is just slightly sprinkle the pan, just like that with the olive oil, and then turn it on high. The next step in the process is to add our onions and let them go and soften in the oil. Alright guys, now the onions are browned, we're going to throw in our seafood mix. Alright guys, now that our uh, seafood mix is coming to a boil. We got some parsley flakes we're going to sprinkle on top, some garlic powder, and lastly some Italian seasoning. Alright, there we go. We have our fish. It's thoroughly seasoned with salt and pepper. We're just going to add it into our boil. Next step, guys, is to start boiling some water to add to your noodles. But I forgot to mention this, uh, you also need some chicken broth. Uh, I'm just going to add a little bit here to the mix. Alright guys, just have some marinara sauce. I'm just going to be taking spoonfuls and dumping it into the dish. Alright guys, you see we got the uh, marinara sauce mixed up. The noodles are starting to boil and they're almost done. So we're gonna next step that we're going to do is add our seasonings. Alright guys, there we have our finished product. We have our uh, stew. This could be made simply with just like this as a soup or with the noodles, uh, which I'll show you a little later, and then made into like a pasta dish. But without further ado, I'm going to try a piece of the trout. Right there is a piece of trout and I'm going to try our first bite of this new trout recipe. Stay tuned.
Wow, that, that is actually really good. Uh, not even just saying that, that is really, really good. Uh, you can definitely taste the, the tomato in there and all the seafood mixed in. It almost tastes like a saltwater fish. Wonderful recipe, uh, very simple, pretty easy, and uh, relatively healthy. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, had a great time making this one. Got some time to spend with family on this family vacation. So until next time, slow and obey my friends. I'll see you on the flip side.